is all about adding um, graphical contact tent to the frames. Now I'm going to show you two ways, well first of all I'm going to show you how to do this I'm also going to show you how to use Photoshop to change your content so that it fits specifically how you want it to in the frames. So to add content to a frame all we do is click on it first of all so it's highlighted, see the square around the outside, go to file, place, then we find the content that we want to use, so say we want to use this picture or that picture, click open, and we click on it. And now look what's happened there, mm, not too good, doesn't really fit the frame. So there's two ways in which we can do this, okay, we can go right click and go fitting, fit content to frame, but now it looks a bit distorted, especially because this picture's uh, sort of in the wrong way, but that will fit our content to the frame. It looks a bit pixelated as well if we zoom in. See that? Not too good. So, what we can do is, and what might be a good technique to do is, go to Photoshop and open up our picture in Photoshop. So I think it was this one. I'm going to drag it down and put it in Photoshop. Oh, that's no, not that one. It's not that one, it's the one above it. I think. Find out in a sec. Yep. Right, okay, so we've got our picture now. Remember in the Photoshop tutorials I talked to you about cropping? So what we know is, go back into InDesign and we know that this square is 34, uh, 27.7 centimetres in width by 27.6 in height. So what we can do is we go into Photoshop, click on the crop tool, So we're looking at it to be 22.7 in height, and we're looking for the width, sorry, the the height to be 27.6, 22.7 in width, and 27.6 in height. Okay. Use a crop tool, and what we'll do is we'll just draw out what we want to keep. So this isn't a good example because it's in landscape, but it will help you if you're using something that's in portrait for this. So we might need that closer, and we can get half of their heads like that. Okay, now when we've done that, we'll just press Enter, save that file, save, get rid of it. Now we'll go into here again, and we'll place it. We'll go up here. We'll go file, place. It was that one, I think. I'm going to open. And it puts in, it's cropped it, so they're exactly the right size that we want. And it's also got rid of the pixelation in there. So just remember that when you're working with graphics, that's how you would do this. This is how you would place it in. You take it into Photoshop, you crop it to the, exactly the right size that you want to use, and then you'd save it and import it this way. Okay, so the next graphic that we need is we need to add something in here, which is referring to these lines here. See those lines? So what I did earlier is I made this banner on Photoshop, like this, by taking a piece of white paper, uh, cutting an area out a bit, and then rotating it, uh, and copying it a few times. So it's got about 10 different copies of the same area. So it comes out like this. So I'm going to put that in. So I go up to here. And when I made it, I made it to these exact dimensions here. So it fits in. So I click on that, file, place, banner, open. My banner in there. And this is a black, te this is black text here. Black color here. So the color to black, what I will do is I'll go into here. Oh, that's small. I'll click on it. So it's selected, go to colour, take this black colour from here and make it black like so. If I wanted to make it another colour, I would go into it like that by double clicking on it and pick a colour 
like that. But I want it to be black for this purpose. See that the magazine cover is starting to take shape in terms of this. Got our lines, got our black, got our main picture on the on the, on the screen. It's starting to look quite good. Uh, the next thing we're going to do in the next tutorial is I'm going to show you how to edit the text to get it exactly similar to this and to import that into here. This is the final part of fitting graphics to frames. I'm just going to show you the other options available to you on this. So you can fit your graphics and frame uh, graphics to frames and make it as easy as possible. So what I've done is I've inserted an image into this, this frame and I've gone up to file and I've gone place and I've put the image in here. Now if we can right click and we go to fitting, see we've got a lot of different option it, options here that we can use. So let's, the first one that we click on will fit the frame to the content. Uh, will fit the content of the frame. You can see that what it's done is it's taken the image and it's uh, stretched out and compressed it to make it fit in here. Uh, okay, so the next one we've got in here is we've got fit frame to content. So let me just undo this. Gone back, right click, fitting fit frame to content, which will make the frame the same size as the picture that we've got. It's quite good. Looks well, quite good, but obviously maybe a bit too big. Let's undo this then. The third one we've got is we've got center of the content. Obviously, put the content in the middle of the frame. We've got and then we've got fit content proportionally. So what that does is that keeps the proportions of it of the picture, and it just makes the um, content fit into our frame. Once we've done that. We could do if we wanted to. We've done that. We can use this, and we can go fit frame to content, and that will resize it. So that everything, oops, everything now is the same size here. Okay. The final one we've got is we have got fit frame proportionally, fill frame proportionally. So what that does again, instead of doing the content proportionally, it will fit the frame proportionally to to the content. So what it's done is it made the it's made the frame bigger. Across the top. And remember, you can use more than one of these options as you do this. Okay, so you could, for example, uh, you could, for example, fill the frame, put the picture in the frame, then fit it proportionally, then resize the frame, etc., etc. So make sure you use all those options uh, rather than just the Photoshop one I taught you earlier.